So if you guys missed out on the new title, man, we have a new world title. I'm pretty sure they called it the World Heavyweight Championship. Uh, the commentators did at least. Corey Graves, I saw him mention it. They called it the world title, right? So we could look at this in many different ways. Oh, WWE's just doing this to, you know, protect Roman or just create something from thin air for the sake of, uh, you know, people power. Look, guys, you could look at it from the positive point of, from a positive point of view or a negative point of view. I choose to look at it from a positive point of view because this is all entertainment. This is all storytelling. This is all baloney. This ain't real. This is all for fun and games for our entertainment. They're calling it the World Heavyweight Championship. They're calling the other one the Undisputed WWE Universal Championship. They could just call it the Undisputed. Point is, there is not one title now called just the Universal Championship, which the Universal Championship name was okay. The WWE Universe, I get it. They wanted a secondary title. They wanted to be different. Vince McMahon thought it was a cool idea. They gave it uh, to Brock Lesnar to make it certified, and they made it certified for a while. Especially now with Roman holding it for as long as he has. But calling it the undisputed title and keeping that name first before anything else and bringing in another world heavyweight championship title tells you one thing. They rebranded, renamed, and I'm all for that. That's all I ever wanted. A fighting champion. Now, I don't feel that Roman needs to drop the title on day 1000. Or Roman needs to drop the title at Clash of Cham a Night of Champions. I just, I, I, I really think that this was a good way to go about it. I think that this, all things considered, is one of the best names they could have given it. Because there is no point in calling it anything else than a world title. It's the wor the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. And this looks like a World Heavyweight Championship type title. It looks like big gold. It's paying homage to the titles that came before it. It looks classy. It looks classic. I've mentioned that in all the other segments we've talked about it. That's how excited I am for it. I, I, I just... Now we got to kind of relax and see who the hell is competing for this. Exactly, Duda. They almost called this shit the Universal Studios Champion at, at, at you know at some point, right? That's the direction we were headed. So I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Now it's time to see how this all plays out for everyone else. Like Bobby Lashley, Seth Rollins, Cody Rhodes. I if I'm WWE, I'll still keep Cody Rhodes and Roman because that feud, man, that feud is really good and it's just building up. But Man, good job, WWE. I don't want people to say, oh, that was Triple H's idea. That was Vince's idea. This is an idea. Bro, let's just enjoy it for what it was. Let's not worry about who released it, who sent it, who made the name, who. Let's just let's just celebrate that we're going to have a fighting champion. All right? A, a step in the right direction, Duda. Best way to put it, I'm taking that out running with that. That's how we end the segment. That's the best way I could put it. It's the step in the right direction. I'm digging it. Let's go. Let's go, man. It's it's finally time to rejoice. The drought of having one championship on the show is over. 